Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Bomb came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote log. Lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. What happened here? Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close... It's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised.
structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. People here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. be a scannable interface on the power pylon. be a scannable interface on the power pylon. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager.
weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat- Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking.
The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. That Thank you. 
Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Pathfinder, got a minute? Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm.
Nomads jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Slippery, but there's a great... Okay, let's solve this thing. connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. 
That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channel. <sighs> All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but... You're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Okay. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Petey. Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. <laughs> 